a single moment. Stored in our memory, it's just hazy. It's your best friend's laugh at that one joke, or the words when you told someone you love them. It could be something seemingly simple, but powerful in who you ended up becoming. A bully, a test, an interview, a loss. But if we photograph that moment, the flash of the camera reveals those little details. The color of the couch your best friend fell over, the way she smiled. The texture of the moment is captured. This is the work of flash fiction. Flash fiction is the growing genre of short stories that are extremely short in length. We're talking 500 words, maybe a thousand tops. Some are even just a couple sentences. When it actually started is debatable, but you could bring it back to the creation of the short story itself with Edgar Allan Poe. Before him, people believed the only way you could tell a story well was a long novel. He believed the best stories are told in one sitting, to avoid distracting yourself with real life in the middle of it. Flash fiction writers take this idea to the extreme. They can tell a story in just one scene, one snapshot of the human experience. You'd think these stories are superficial with so few words, but in fact they're the opposite. Flash fiction pieces are tiny wells going deep into the ground. You'll pull up one bucket with the first read, but there's still a lot more water down there. That just might be the best thing about them. The length restraints force writers to use every word carefully and to dig deep into that epiphany moment when their character realizes something about themselves or their life subconsciously. Many flashes illuminate the mundane moments of life and give us a shot of insight, like taking narrative speed. At the same time, they're only giving you the barest glances, and all of the experience lies in what they don't tell you outright, what's lying in the white spaces between lines. So, if you haven't ever seen a flash fiction piece before, they're quick reads that punch you in the face with precision and depth. I've left some links to great lit mags, so give them a go. Let us know your favorites in the comments, and until then, happy reading!